Good morning from the Tiki Room. I'm Priscilla and I want to give you an update on the Tiki Hut back there where I'm going to be doing this stop animation from. My ears are blocked and I hope I'm not talking too loud. <laughs> I made a whole tray. Get them up there so you can see them. Full of these little hedgehogs. Now they're not quite dry yet. They're not quite dry yet. Wait, where's my camera? But my idea, my intention is once they're dry, I'm going to paint them. I'm going to paint them with watercolor paints. Now, what I'm about to do probably has been done before. I have never seen it. Maybe you can tell me if you've seen this. So this is what I want to do. I was going to go with bigger clay, bigger figures to be more life size in there. But then I thought, I'm gonna keep them small, so if I introduce human characters, maybe me and Morton, I don't know, these little hedgehogs will be good to go. I was gonna do them in needle felting. I love to do needle felting. I've done lots of little animals and all kinds of little critters in needle felting. But even mermaid, I have a mermaid over there that I needle felted. She actually, she should appear in some of the stop animation. Anyway, um, I'm 60 years old, going on 61 this year. And I've always wanted to do this. I've never done this. So this is, I'm going to talk you through this, what I want to do. I want to create a whole bunch of little clay hedgehogs that I paint. Now I'm going to paint their tummies are going to be painted. Their little legs are gonna be pink, just like little hedgehog pinks. They're gonna interact, they're gonna dance, they're gonna, but this is the important part. Their little faces, their little faces are gonna be very expressive. Of course, they're gonna smidge, but I wanna have like a whole wheelhouse filled. When by wheelhouse, I mean, we're gonna clean the shelf off over there. And that's where the, all the little hedgehogs are going to live. And then to take to make a stop motion animation, I have to take 24 pictures. So what I would do, and oh, and I'm going to use I'm going to use this. This is a kalimba. I'm going to use this for my music. I would I was working on a little song. But I'm gonna use, I'm getting Mr. Rogers vibes now from when they would, you know, trolley, go to the land and make believe. That's what we're doing. But um, I just love how this sounds. Have you seen one of these? And I'm just learning how to play it. But uh, <laughs> I digress. I really wanted to show you this. So for taking um, my stop animation, so each picture or each second of stop animation, I'm gonna have to move and take 24 photographs. So we'll picture, 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 picture. Maybe he's jumping up, picture, 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 picture. 24 of those for one second. This is going to be a labor of love and a labor of fun. I can't wait. I want to make, I want to paint their faces so expressive and so sweet. And so they're just going to be filled with fun. And I'll tell you about the premise of, I'll tell you the concept. This is a concept pitch. Maybe faster. Yes, this is definitely going to be my instrument of choice. And I have a couple other ones. So I want to create the creatures. I want to do all the filming. I'm going to do all the editing. It's going to be a whole lot of work. It's going to be a lot of fun. And I want to capture the long version of it here. So the very first thing I'm going to do, I believe in just jumping into your dream. Jumping into the dream. I'm not going to 
you would think you'd want to study and learn this. I'm not going to do that. I know you need lighting for this. I'm going to use this little lighter. <laughs> this little light, it's a little LED, and there's some different filters that I have for it. And um, of course, our backdrop is going to be the the tiki the tiki hut that's over there behind me, on the desk behind me. But um, let me turn this so you can see a little bit better. That tiki that tiki hut. So what I want to do first is while these guys before they're even painted, I want to be practicing techniques. I want to be learning as I'm doing. Right? Does that make sense? So, um, instead of waiting till all of these are painted, because I'm seriously, I'm going to make dozens and dozens of these. And I was going to keep them all the same size, but I'm not. I'm not. And uh, <laughs> look at how beautiful they are. Oh my gosh. <laughs> they make me happy just looking at them. And their little arms, I can just picture them like, they're going to, so they're going to be, I'm going to make, I'm going to definitely make videos of them, like this little one here with a paintbrush, painting this one. I'm going to do that. This painting this. These are going to be little crafty, creative hedgehogs that are nothing but pure love and joy. They're going to have lots of friends visit them. But um, to clean that desk off first, because that is going to be, that's going to be the hedgehog hut. <laughs> Definitely the hedgehog hut. To clean that off, guess who's going to do it? Not me. <laughs> I will. <laughs> I will. I'll do it. I'm going to, as I'm cleaning that off, I'm going to be cleaning that off and I'm going to be filming it with our little friends moving things along. So I'm going to be just jumping right in there. And I will give you a warning. The first part of this, oh, my ear's opening. Let me take a drink. I've, I've just come off of a cold. I still have blocked ear. Um, as I'm doing this, I will give you fair warning. I get sidetracked easy. <laughs> I live in a 154-year-old church. And I... Um, just decided I'm not going to be selling things for my studio. I, I want to just spend time doing stuff like this, not chasing money, doing, chasing my dreams, this stuff that I've always wanted to do. If I don't start pursuing dreams now, when am I going to do that? And I basically have done it my whole life, but this stop, stop motion animation, I have never done this before. So, um, I've played around with a little bit, but not to the scale that I want to do it. I want to, again, the Enchanted Tiki Room is going to be Hedgehog Hut. <laughs> the Hedgehog Hut. And I love that it's all happening here, right here behind these old pipes in the church. Let me lift you up here and not shake you too much. We're behind the old organ pipes that we moved from the loft up there down to here. I feel... Uh, I love serendipity, and I think this was a serendipity thing. That hut, the hut that we have, um, my daughter found that in a thrift store in Port Orange, Florida. She sent me a photo of it as I was driving to Florida, and she said, I found something I think you would like. And I said to her, oh my gosh, I love it. How much was it? I will pay you back. And she said, I didn't get it. I didn't know if you would want it. <laughs> look at it it is so beautiful yes I wanted it I went into the store and this store is so packed and so they have a huge turnover there of stuff I go in walk up to the hut grab it immediately I didn't even look at the price it was $69 I think maybe $59 the most expensive thing I've ever bought in a thrift store was that and it needed love. It was bare, but it's so cool. It's going to be the perfect home for these little fellows to live in. Did you love it? Yes. Um, and um, so it was meant to happen. But then I'm going around the store and I was looking for some other things. I got um, I got this, the Isle del Sol um, in there. That was like 
two dollars I think for that but I found some other things for the tiki room <coughs> sorry <coughs> oh sorry you're gonna see a lot of real things on these videos that's one of them I'm not gonna edit them <coughs> I think too much of what we see in this world is edited <laughs> Edited, CGI, and AI. We're not going to have any of that there. Here. <coughs> oh. As we're walking along, as I'm walking there with my shopping cart, where I have this tiki hut, <laughs> on my tiki hut, there was a woman came in and came up to me. And she goes, oh my gosh, you got it. <laughs> and I was kind of like, uh-oh, we're going to have one of those things, you, an altercation that you see about on the viral videos. Because I was like, woman, you are not getting this tiki hut. <laughs> I'm just off of a thousand mile road trip. <laughs> I'm in madly in love with this tiki hut. And she said, I brought my friend back in here to show it to her. And now I'm thinking, oh great, it's going to be two against one. <laughs> I'm going to have to, yeah, I'm going to have to prove how bad I want this tea yet. And um, her friend looks at it and she's like, oh, that is so cool. Again, I'm terrified because I'm, I'm, I'm a lover, not a fighter. <laughs> And uh, she goes, do you care if I take some pictures of it? Uh, they And she was wanting to do something with her tiki bar. She didn't want to buy it. Thankfully, she just wanted to take pictures of it. So, <clears throat> and it has a, the tiki hut, it's called Dave's House on it. It says that. It has a really cool backstory too. So I love it. And I love that it's going to come to life with my dream, in my dream. Um, making music, <laughs> making music, and comment on this video, please, comment, tell me if you're excited to hear the music, how oh, beautiful, I got the hiccups, <clears throat> paint and create these with me. And let's just have the maximum amount of fun allowed by law. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Watch all of our videos here on YouTube. And you're going to get the big long version of it here. You'll see little shorts on our other social media. We have a, we have a lovely Facebook group if you're into that sort of thing. The 1870 Studio. I'm Priscilla. And I'm so happy you're here. Let's make something beautiful together.